Collections. Mint Collection stands for Moments in Time. And with my time, I like to create and inspire others to be creative. Here at Mint Collections, you'll hear me talk about fashion, hair and health, home decor, art supplies, and so much more. Ooh, that rhyme. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, please, and also hit the notification bell so you're always notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and blessings. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. Today's tutorial is gonna be this mini magnetic board using all of Dollar Tree products. I really, really, really like how it came out and I may expand it and I may decorate it another way later on, but right now this is how I plan to use it. I just hung it up by my door. It's something that I can use in my craft room just as a quick reference for that month. So let's get into some of the materials. All the materials that I used are from Dollar Tree, um, minus the glue and the wire cutters. I used the galvanized decor pieces, stretch canvases, flat nose pliers and wire cutters. I used Goo Gone. I also used Gorilla Wood Glue. I used the large clips also. Hello guys. Um, so we're going to get right into making this magnetic board, whatever you want to call it, a magnetic storage board, magnetic, um, just magnetic board. <laughs> we're just going to make this magnetic, <laughs> magnetic. We're gonna make this magnetic board here. Um, I am using two of the stretch canvases. These are six by eight inches. I'm using two of them. And I've already taken the canvas off of the wood frame. One side is smooth, and then the other side is where the staples came out of. These staples are in here pretty deep, so that's why you need that's why you need uh, some wire cutters as well as some flat nose pliers um, some people will use the heavier duty um, stapler remover um, I don't have one of those so this is what I'm going to use um, you can try to use scissors but you might cut yourself maybe don't use scissors um, that might not work for these these are pretty these are in pretty deep and then I already started I already took out most of the staples on the second one but I left a few in so you can see how I uh, take them out with these tools all right so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I take this now you want to do is I'm gonna press down really hard it's gonna take quite a bit of then I'm gonna squeeze it once I get hold of it I'm just going to squeeze it until you hear it pop. Once you hear it pop, you're going to take your flat nose pliers and you're going to lift it up and you're just going to pull that out just like that. bigger clips and I just got these from Dollar Tree they're a pack of eight and I also have some of these too so I'm going to glue those together and then I'm going to um, use this actually was some type of decorative piece and it looked like this the paper was coming off of it this is just this is just paper and it was coming off, so I just took it off of this one. But I'm gonna glue this side to the wood frame. I'm gonna glue it here. And I took out the ribbon. And 
And I also used Goo Gone and a little bit of my elbow grease and I my nail and I just scraped this off. Alright guys, so I'm, I'm taking the clips off. It has been a little a little less than 24 hours. Um, so almost 24 hours since I had this glue and clamp together to dry. So I have my two pieces here. This is the smooth side and this is the side where the staples were. I'm going to now make sure that my two pieces, metal pieces are going to be with the two holes that are inside already facing the top. Make sure that they're facing the same side. And I'm going, when I glue them down, I'm going to make sure that they're as close together to the center as possible. So that way there's no gap in between them when I put them together. <music> them. I'm going to use the same clamps that I had before. To make sure this stays in place. And I'm going to come back and check it later. So I'm going to glue the other one on and then I will come back and talk to you guys and about how I'm going to decorate this. Alright guys, so I actually decided to not decorate it, not put any nautical rope on it, not do anything extra to it. Um, I like it as it is for right now. I can always change it later. But what I did on the back was inside here, some of the glue, Gorilla Glue, came out on the sides, which is a good thing. I just took some hot glue and sealed it in a little bit more for some extra support all the way around in the inside. And then on the outside, I put some more hot glue just where the lines are for the, the wooden pieces in the back right here to put some twine on it. And I'm going to just put some hot glue over the knot that I made to reinforce it. And then I'm going to hang it up. <music> Alright guys, here is the final product of my magnetic board and I have attached to it this um, magnetic dry erase planner that I got from Dollar Tree and I also had 
some little magnetic pieces that I put up here. You can use this without the magnetic board. You can take this off. So this is my magnetic board. I love how it came out and um, I'm excited to see if I expand it later on or just keep it as is. But I like this concept. I think this is a great idea. Thank you so much for watching you guys. If you want to see more videos like this or if you have any questions about this tutorial, Please leave me a comment below, suggest some more um, ideas uh, or some different types of videos that you want to see me do. Um, please comment below or just stop by in to say hello. Um, please follow me on social media, Instagram, Mint Collections, Facebook, Mint Collections, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.